Hey guys, it's Chris. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I am doing a, this is a vendor spotlight video because I was sent a box of stuff. Um, I did not pay for it. It was sent to me for free um, to review. And I wanted to just read to you the wonderful email I got from this lovely girl. Um, first of all, I'll show you her card. This is her card. I know sometimes I look lost because my camera like won't stay on top. It drives me crazy. Um, this Rissa Lee Luna, her nickname is Reese. That's where she gets the candles by Reese. Um, you can go to candlesbyreese.com. 100% hand poured triple scented candles plus bath and body. And this is the card. I love this damask print. I, I really do love it. I think it's so, so pretty. Um, so we've been, and then she sent me this little card. Homemade. And this was not, she did not contact me through Facebook. Um, this was somebody who watched my YouTubes and contacted me through my email. So um, I thought that was pretty cool. And look at this matches. Pretty much. I mean, isn't that cute? That's so cute. So the card, I love when people send cards. I just, I keep, I always keep them. I just think they're so cute. And she uses a little sparkly pen. I don't know. You, you wouldn't be able to see it, but I can see it. It says, Christine, I just wanted to say thank you again. Please enjoy my products. Look forward and looking forward to your feedback. XOXO Reese. And she puts a little heart. It's just too cute. Um, yeah, see, can you see the sparkle? Like where my name is? It's so cute. This pen is adorable. So, um, Candles by Reese is the name of the company, and I just want to read you the email that she sent me. It says, Hi, Christine. My name is um, Rissa Luna, a.k.a. Reese. I am the owner-creator of Candles by Reese. I am from sunny Southern California, and I'm jealous. I want to be from sunny SoCal. Ugh, I'm from rainy Connecticut today. Downpouring. Um, and I've have been making candles since 2011, but mostly to family, friends, and coworkers. Sales with them kept me so busy that I never really had time to network and sell my products online. I opened up my Etsy shop in 2012, but I never really did much with it. Now I feel ready and most importantly confident to sell my products to the public, which is always wonderful. I'm honored. I would be honored if you would review some of my items. I make container candles, tarts, chunks, body and body slash room sprays, bath bombs, and body scrubs. Please let me know what some of your favorite scents are, and I will create a package for you to test. Of course, I would love you to be 100% honest, and I am open to any recommendations, which, from seeing your videos, I know you are. I am also, I would also like your input on my website, since I designed it myself and very new at that. Um... So, I just gave her some of my scents... And she uses 100% paraffin for her jar candles, but she uses a pair of soy blend for her tarts. She um, herself uses 20 to 24 watts for her tarts. Um, I'm going to test in, you know, 18. I'm going to test in, like, kind of everything I have, if that's possible. You know, I like my 18 to 20. 24 watts, as you guys may or may not know, um warmers are going out so if there's any newbies and especially people who are advertising and are newer to the candle community um such as candles by reese i will put all her information below um unfortunately newbies may not have a 24 watt so if your stuff only throws in a 24 watt that's kind of an issue because what if they can't get a 24 watt you're kind of pigeonholing yourself but anyway that being said um, it came wrapped beautifully in this box right here, and I always open right in front of you guys so you guys know, but, um, let me see. Ooh, okay. Lots of packing peanuts. Let's see what we have going on here. I'm just going to pull one thing out at a time. Oh, let me go to her website. Hold on. Really quickly. I did have this pulled up, but for some reason my camera wasn't working. Okay, so her website is super cute. It has this little scroll thing that shows 
you know, this little slideshow that shows her products, which I think is always cute. I like that. Um, it says, welcome to my online boutique. A lot of love and hard work goes into every product I make. All of my products are handmade to order and of high quality. My fragrance oils, waxes, wicks, and additives are purchased by well-known, reputable companies and request... Oh, and result in the most amazing fragrance candles and luxurious bath and body items. I believe in quality and refuse to cut corners to save a buck, but I also believe in getting the best deals. Love that. I love that. There's so many vendors out there. I shouldn't say so many, but newer vendors out there that really do cut corners and it really, really shows in your product, unfortunately. Um, and I understand being a new vendor, starting out, you don't have a ton of money you know, to kind of start off with. But if you're going to, you know, play around, I get it. Um, being a little frugal or whatever on the, um, your items. But I mean, once you're ready to open a shop, you really should, not I'm not saying you have to buy the most expensive stuff. I am such a bargain shopper. It's ridiculous. But you really need to test, 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 and, you know, go for the most economical that works for you. Um, so I just love that. It says, this in turn allows me to offer my premium quality products for very reasonable prices. See for yourself with love, Reese. So she has, and then down at the bottom, she has a Twitter. She has Instagram. She has an Etsy shop, Facebook. She has a forum, which I love these forums. I don't know why. A lot of times I go in there, I'll post my reviews in the forums, or I'll just check out what people are saying. I think they're really cool. She has a candle care page. She has a wax blends page, which, um, oh, this is so cute too. It says on the side of this, each page of this page, it says creativity is messy and I'm very creative. I like that. That's so cute. So this says create your own blends or use one of my blends below to create your loaves, daisy wax chunks, or heart wax tarts. And then she has a link, like, to the loaves, to the daisy wax chunks, and the wax, the heart wax tarts, which is super, super cool. I mean, I love, like, when there's just links everywhere. I mean, you know, when there's so many different ways to get to the things, I just love it. It makes it so much easier for people. So she has quite a list here of, um, blends that she, that she's made. Looks really great. Love it. Can read it. You know, um, really, really like it. Um, sometimes, you know, people get a little crazy with their websites and then you really can't read and or you get a headache while you're reading. Um, so the products, I'm going to products. Where's products? Let me just back up. Okay, so products, she has two different sections. She has candles and fresheners, which is candles, Room slash linen sprays, aroma beads, wax tart melts. And then she has bath and body, which has bath bombs, bath scrubs, and bath sprays. I'm not a big bath taker. So, um, because my bathtub actually, I don't have a bathtub. Well, I shouldn't say I don't have a bathtub. I have a bathtub. It doesn't stay. There's something wrong with it. It does. The water doesn't stay in there. So, you know, by the end of your bath, you're, I'm sitting here like splashing myself with little, what little water is left. And it's got to be really, really super quick bath, like if that's what you want. Like, so it's nothing luxurious where I can just sit there in bubbles and just enjoy myself. No, I got, we have to get that fixed. I don't know what the deal with that is, but it's kind of crazy. Um, so bath scrubs, I love body sprays, love so in the wax category, she has wax loaves, wax heart melts, which are super cute, clamshell tarts, scoopable whipped wax, daisy chunk wax chunks, which are just like your scallops, which she calls daisy wax, her scallops with, with little chunkies on them, which is cute, and then daisy wax melts. Um, let me see. Okay, so her... Let me see here. Okay, so I'm just going to show you what I got here. And obviously I had told her like some of my favorite scents. So again, here is her, um, I'm obviously going to have to let these cure, but 
this is her, she had told me like about a week. She said she's throwing them in and they've been fine, but I figured I would do, you know, about a week. I'll probably do two weeks just because that's me. I normally, anything I, I, I do for a month, I can smell this through the bag and it's not even quite close to my face. This is crazy. But this is Candles by Reese and the Damascus, her Damascus theme keeps going. Love it. This is in Nag Champa. You guys know I'm huge into my perf, my, my perfuming, my, my patchoulis, my earthy scents, my incensey scents. Nag Champa is one of my all time favorites. Oh, and this is spot on. Nag Champa is sort of like a sweeter version of patchouli. So if patchouli makes you gag, Nag Champa is a good um, alternative. Oh, it's really good. Let me see what the scent, I think she had a scent list here. Fragrance Guide. Yes. Okay, so let me see what she has. And this is so cute too. The Fragrance Guide is really, really cute as far as... Um, again, you can read it. I love it when you can read. Everything's in alphabetical order. Super easy. Um, the only thing that I wish, and I don't know if it's possible on this particular website, but this fragrance got, you guys know I go nuts over scentless. Like, I go crazy. Like, I start off, like, I'm talking about Nag Champa, and I'm going to look at all these other things and go, oh, look, she's got this and this and this. But she has pictures on the top, which are so cool. Looks like you can hit on them. Oh, okay. It's just pops up the image, but it's so cute. Like there's a beach theme. There's like a Zen garden theme. There's like a tree theme or a tree picture, a picture of some berries, a picture of some candy, a picture of like a hibiscus flower. It's so, so it's very pretty, but she calls it the fragrance guide. And on the side, it says floral bakery, spa, bloom, fresh, fruity, woodsy, uh, uh, aromatherapy. Like it's just so super cool. I really, really like that. That's cute. Um, but I'm a stickler for scent lists or fragrance guides, as Reese puts it, because I just, I can't stand when I get something or something has a really cool name and I want to buy it, but I have no idea what's in it. So when people don't keep up on their scent lists, it drives me insane. So she has, she's got quite a few scents going on here. And of course, I'm looking at them and going, ah, <laughs> like angels are singing. Um, let me see. L-M-N. Okay, so Nag Champa, the wonderful aroma of incense, patchouli, sandalwood, and dragon's blood work together to create this wonderful blend. I mean, those are like all my favorite scents mixed together. Love it. Oh, this is, smells so good. Now, her wax, this is a parasoy. It's soft, you guys. Like, this is very oily. It's melting in my hands. This looks like a little flower. I get my computer all messy. This is like a little flower tart, but look at how big it is. Oh, this is so nice. So this is a bakery bag. There's one, two, three, four. Oh, it's assortments. Hold on, let me pull out another one. It's assortments. So this is like a little orchid, so cute, or like a little lotus blossom, adorable. I mean, these are nice and chunky. I wish I had my scale here. I would say these are definitely over an ounce, maybe even two ounces. Oh, really, really nice, but they're in, in assorted um, shapes. And like I said, her stuff is very oily, very soft. I love that. That's like my favorite kind of wax. Because if you get something big, like a loaf too, you can turn around and cut it very, very easily. Um, I don't know how much these bakery bags are. If she sells them by the bakery bag or not, I'm not sure. Let me look really quick. Oh, I'm scrolling the wrong way. No, I'm not. Okay. So products. Let's go to... Wax tart melt. Okay, so we'll just start off with their clamshell tarts. They're four dollars, so they're about three ounces total. Um, she says one squ one square will last about eighteen to twelve eight eighteen eight to twelve hours. Um, you know, depending on the scent. So you know, I've seen clamshells for four dollars. I mean, is this a little pricier than I normally would pay? Yes. Because I usually do the dollar an ounce thing. But on the other hand, if the wax is amazing, 
I would pay an extra dollar for a clamshell. Like, I just would. Um, especially since I'm sort of cutting down my, just to my favorite vendors. And like, that's all I'll buy from. You know what I mean? And then I'm just melting the rest of them. So actually, I'm not buying anything at this moment, but I've just kind of cut down to my favorite five and, you know, but I'm always looking for new vendors, which is just kind of crazy. So <laughs> I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Okay, so here's another little bakery bag in Dragon's Blood. Now, Dragon's Blood is... Again, like I said, I'm going to let these melt, but I mean, let these cure, but I'm smelling these things and going, wow, I could probably pop the suckers in right now. And you know what? She gave me, this is another bag of four. Oh, the dragon's blood is more potent. I just think by Nag, Nag Champa, I think from the sandalwood to be sweeter, but I love dragon's blood. Like, oh my God, I love it. I just love it. I think it is amazing. I I just, I don't know, these incense head shop, I call them head shop um, um, scents. I just absolutely love them. I, I, they're just, to, those are my relaxing scents. And I know a lot of people go, oh, gag, like, no way. I just, I don't know. I just love them. I, I'm not sure. And I'm, and I, I'm not, I'm actually allergic to pot. So it's not like I'm a big headshot person, but you know, I just, I don't know what it is about it. Oh, she's got some amazing scents here, you guys. Okay. A dragon's blood smells just like the essential oil. This oil has a mysterious scent that's slightly sweet and spicy. It has a warm earthy scent with notes of amber, vanilla, sandalwood, light notes of musk, and hints of Asian florals to bring one subtle spice undertones. Now, this is a beautiful deep red color. I'm not going to pull these out because like I said, they are. Okay, I'll pull it out. <laughs> I'm like, so this is a chunky heart. I'm so like indecisive. I'm not going to pull it. Okay, I'll pull it out. Like twist my arm, twist it. Okay, I'll pull it out. Um, this is a chunky heart. Again, this wax is really, I really like it. I mean, it's really like melting in my hands, but she has them in the bakery bags and it's not like messy, messy in the bag. Oh, this is so good. But if you look at this, it's very thick. It's really nice. Oh my God. So, like I said, I love Dragon's Blood. Love it. Love it. I have it in the perfume. I have Nag Chomp in the perfume. Love it. Um, okay, so I want to look really quickly here. So I, I looked at that. The Chunky Hearts Wax Melt. Okay, that's the image. Don't want to, didn't want to see that. Okay, so these wax chunks are probably my favorite tart melts. Use whole or cut to the size you see fit. Super easy to pop into your tart warmer of choice. You have the option of selecting up to three cents for blending plus an overpour scent. I am horrible at blending, um, <clears throat> but each heart contains about two to two and a half ounces of wax. So that little that heart that you showed me is it's these are a little different, but it's about two ounces. Um, these come in sets of four in the same blend, so you probably would get a bag, bakery bag like this. And so that's so it's eight dollars. Or I mean, if they if they're two and a half, let I me mean, eight ounces, eight ounces. If they're two and a half, you're getting more. Um, you're getting ten ounces, and the price is nine dollars. So like I said, I mean, I think it's pretty. That's a pretty fair price. I'm you know, like I said. She also has, okay, so then she has drop down boxes, which I love, and then the chunk option too. You can, if you want to add another scent, there's a, you check that, there's another drop down box, ch chunk option three. I love the preciseness of this website because a lot of times people are like, okay, write me what you want, and then it gets lost in translation, and say you wanted the chunks in one scent, and the overpour in the other, and you get the opposite. I mean, I know it's wax, but over the overpour especially is normally the predominant, even though there are chunks throughout. So, 
you know, I know you cut it up, you put it in, they all meld together, that kind of thing. But, you know, some people are very, very picky with their wax and they want chunks in this and chunks in this and over pour in this. And you can absolutely do this on her website. I love it. And then she has an over pour and a drop down. It's amazing. I really like this a lot. I really do. I'm love. I'm digging the website, how easy it is. Because I can't stand when people are like, okay, order and then just write all your your information in the comment box. Oh, that drives me nuts. It's it's just so hard. It gets it gets lost. Okay. So this again going with the little Damascus theme in this cello bag. Um normally hates ribbon, can't stand it. Um yep. I can't stand it. I cannot untie these things for the life of me. Twist ties, I mean, they look pretty. It's great. Love twist ties. They actually have twist ties that you can curl the ends of. Love those. Um, I know vendors that sell these little foil clippy things, which, uh, you know, are amazing also. So, Reese, if you're interested, I can probably send you some links. Um, you know, maybe every, everybody else loves twist ties and I'm just you know OCD but okay so this is a package of these are really nice cello bags and they're the nice thick ones and her wax is soft you know what this reminds me of BSF wax guys it's very soft um it's not quite as soft as BSF but it is soft so this is I can smell these through the packaging holy moly this is crazy. It's not even open. Um, this is coconut lime verbena. And these things aren't even cured yet. Oh, my God. So, and I love that she has the pour dates. You know, everybody always loves to see the pour date. So, you know. And um, and then, in the back, it says Parasoy Blend. So, you know what you're, you know, using warmer of your choice Candles by Reese. And like I said, she, talking to her, she suggests 20 to 24. So if any of you guys go to Walmart, pick up the Glade Warmer. I'm not a big fan of the Glade Warmer, but there's a lot. Everything's becoming a 20 watt, so you're not going to have a problem with her wax. I don't even need to open this. This is so crazy. I can smell the coconut and the lime and the verbena in here. It is just really, really good. And I, what drives me nuts is when I can't smell the coconut and coconut lime verbena. I love coconut lime verbena. Um, okay, let me see here. <clears throat> Going back to the fragrance guide. Oh, I have it up in another tab. Dodo, Chris. Um, coconut lime verbena. I mean, I know most everybody probably knows what this smells like. Very fresh. A citrus bouquet of lime. Kumquat. Kumquat. That, ma that makes me laugh. I'm sorry, you guys. Kumquat makes me laugh. I've never had a kumquat. I've never tried a kumquat. I actually don't even know what kum kumquat smells like, but just the name it makes me laugh. Why would you name a fruit kumquat? Like, it's just, it's, it sounds like you've named your dog Quat, and you're saying kumquat, kumquat. Like, I don't know. Whatever. I just, I'm sorry. You guys know that's how my brain works, but it's just funny. Grapefruit lemon with a soft floral undertone of jasmine on a background of musk and sandalwood. Now, I don't know if I get all those, but this definitely smells like coconut lime verbena to me. Like, it's not as citrusy as most coconut lime verbenas that I have on cold sniff anyway that I have smelled. Usually I smell a lot more of the lime, a lot more of the grapefruit, but... I kind of like it because, like I said, you can get the other notes in it. Sometimes coconut lime verbena can be very super citrusy, and to me, like, you should call it fruit slices because it's just, you know, not. But there's six of these little starbursts, and I'm having a feeling, just by feeling, I know this sounds weird, you guys, but you guys know I've tested for a lot of people, and I've tested a lot of wax, and this oily wax softer wax is always my favorite and I always find it throws so good I am going to melt this in my 18 watt just by feeling it I had normally said 20 watt you know of course I'm going to do 20 also and 24 which I think would waste this wax unfortunately but 
it's just so nice and soft and oily that I'm going to do my 18 watt, which as you guys know is my all time favorite. So love this. Um, she does not have this up on the website, these little stars. So I don't know how much they cost for a six pack of these. So I'm going to ask Reese to please, um, to please, hold on, maybe it's under candles. No, it's not. Those are just candles. Our candles also have that Damascus label on them. So pretty. Um, you can get a 14 ounce hurricane jar candle for $14. So good. Like she's just doing 12 ounce, um, candle for $12. Like she's really kind of just going point on with the candles. And I really like that because I do know some vendors that go overboard. Um, 12 ounce cube jar candle, double wicked, 12 bucks. Really, really good. Oh, uh, sampler pack. Ah, love sampler pack. I don't burn. You know, I had told her that, but, but with her wax, you, I'm thinking you could pro, oh no, she said she uses paraffin for her candles. Sorry. I'm thinking you could probably scoop it because I do have candles that I scoop, but sampler pack, if you're into the candles, you get four of the eight ounce jelly jars for $24. Eight times four is 24. I, I just, I love that. Okay. So, um, let me go to the home page. Let me go back to products. I don't see these. Unless I'm missing something. So I don't know how much these are. But I know you guys are all into wax loaves. So let me tell you here. Again, you can pick your chunks. You can pick the different chunk options up to three. You can pick your own overpour. Just in the drop down. Amazing. You go to the fragrance list. You pick what you want. You know it's made the right way. Um, and then she says, click my house blends. If you can't decide a blend of your own, she brings you back to the blend page. It, oh, it's so cool. Um, so you get three, you can, you can have select up to three chunks for blending plus an over pour scent. Like that to me is a little much. That's just me personally, not saying anything. I know people, you guys love your wax loaves. You love your chunks. You love all that stuff. Um, but, okay, so this loaf, wax loaf, weighs approximately one pound. It comes packaged in a disposable tin and wrapped in a cello bag, like most of them do. Very, very pretty. Very pretty. It's kind of just has, like, these chunks in it all throughout. Um, you know, there's a little slideshow if you click the picture so you can see it outside of the tin. Chunks all throughout. Um... It's really, and then, you know, the overpour, it's really pretty. You know, nothing like super duper duper fancy, but that's fine. Like I said, I don't do super duper. And the price on that is $16.50. So it's 16 ounces, $16.50 for a loaf. Like, I just, I think it's really good. I think it's spot on. That is just my opinion. Okay, packing peanuts. These are the bane of my existence. Love the biodegradable ones. These, love them. Um, okay. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. There's another six pack in here. What am I doing? So here's another six pack and just squares. I love this, you guys. I really do. Like if you're just looking for plain wax, nothing like super duper, I you know, the wax melts. It's great when it's pretty. If it's too pretty, I don't want to melt it. This is in hazelnut coffee. I don't want to melt it. So these cubes are awesome. Pop in one of these cubes. You're good to go. I love these because then I can separate them into individual baggies, share with others. You know, um, when I do place an order from Candles by Reese, um, you know, if I want to do that and share and say, hey, you got to try this company here. Here's a couple squares. Check them out. I mean, oh, my God. I, I love I love it. I just love it. It's just so easy. This is good. Okay. Now, obviously, I'm going to let this cure. I'm a huge coffee person. You guys know. Huge on coffee. This is not a caca coffee scent, which is what I call caca coffee. But I'm mostly getting hazelnut out of this. I'm not getting a whole lot of coffee note, which tends to happen with the coffee scents, you know. Uh, let me pull one out just to... 
And it's a little light. It's actually a little on the light side. I can't wait to have this cure and melt this because I'm really curious to see what happens with this. But again, oh my God, the wax is so, it's like, oh my God, it's nice and oily, melting in my hand. Love it. Like I said, I don't care about messy bags. Give me nice, soft, oily wax. I, I love it. I think it performs the best. That's just my personal opinion. Um, And look at this, look at this bag. So she has the gusseted bags with the bottom right here. Oh my God. And underneath she has, she has covered all her bases. She has a sticker that gives you your tart melting instructions. Oh my, and it just gives your, you know, it tells you how to even take them out for people who don't know the freezer method. It tell, explains that. Um... Oh my God, it's just amazing. It's really, really cool. I love it. I love it, I love it. It tells you, you know, unlike oil, the liquid in the tart burner will not evaporate. Instead, you will know that the tart is a spent, <laughs> is spent after you can no longer smell its fragrance. When you're finished with the tart, the easiest way to get it out of your burner, your burner is to let the hot wax cool and harden. Then place your tart burner upside down Oh, she says upside down. I never place them upside down, but hmm, maybe I'll try that. Upside down in your freezer for 15 to 20 minutes. The wax will shrink and pull away from the sides. And after being in your freezer for a while, it should come out, it should become loose enough to just slide out or be gently pushed out with your thumb. Now you're ready for another tart. I I love I love the attention to detail. I love it. So this has a little thank you on it with a little um tool ribbon. This is, this bag is so cute. It's like, you, you know, you put the, I mean, this is just an, an awesome, awesome presentation. So, I open this up. And I shall pull the tool ribbon out. And then I'm going to have to try and put it back in because it's just so cute. Um, okay, so these are her chunky hearts. These are so cute. They're like um, scalloped. And they're chunky. And this is honeydew, cotton candy with honeydew melon overpour. So what I was talking about with the overpour is that it's the main scent. I can smell honeydew big time. Right through this packaging, you guys. Okay, it's creeping me out a little bit. And these aren't even cured. This is really, oh, this one is. Oh, this is just about cured. This was poured on March 24th. Um, this is kind of creeping me out. I'm going to be honest, guys. This is kind of crazy that I can smell these through the, through these thick cello bags. So I'm going to pull one of these out and just kind of explain to people maybe who are new to my channel, whatever. Will this come out? Will it? Okay. So here's the chunks, which are in cotton candy. Okay. Oops. And they're all the way throughout. But the overpour is really your main scent. Because, you know, you put the... Oh, God. I just got wax on my new Mac. I christened it. It smells really good. Again, like I'm mostly getting the honeydew. And this is just melting in my hands. I'm mostly getting the honeydew, which is beautiful. It's a beautiful honeydew scent. I love it. Um, I can smell the cotton candy, though, when, you, when I put my nose up to the chunks. I can smell it. Normally, I can't. The, more, normally, the overpour is like way too. Oh, getting it back into this bag. It's so pretty. I'm not going to be pulling the other ones out, guys. And see, the bag's messy. Who cares? I don't care. Give me this, like I said, give me this nice, soft, oily wax. You could cut this sucker in half. Not a problem. You could cut it with a butter knife, you guys. I, I love that. I cannot stand when wax is so super, super duper hard that you can't cut it, especially if it's supposed to be a cuttable. Drives me nuts. So these messy bags do not bother me in the least. Love it. But I love how she does package this. So in transit, this soft wax is not going to get mushed. I have gotten soft wax from other vendors that they, you know, put it in something like this, throw it in an envelope or a box or something, and you get it, and it's it's a big pancake or something like that. That bothers me. But she has solved that problem with this. I just find that amazing. Um... But you could easily cut this in half. But she does have her wax, um, her wax, what you call it, her wax hearts up here. So I'm going to tell you. 
Heart Wax Melts. These are $9. Oh, these come in sets of four. Wow, okay. So these are two between two and two and a half ounces. I'm gonna say this is more like two and a half ounces, guys. These are more like two and a half. Um, but again, you can pick your chunk option, chunk option one, chunk option two, chunk option three, plus your overpour. So if you guys love to blend, Candles by Reese sounds like this is your group. Serious. I mean, this is your page. Seriously. Um, these come in sets of four. Um, you can only get them, if, if you do sets of, they come in sets of four, they're $9, again, on price point. Um, if you do sets of four, they're all, they all come the same. So if you're doing cotton candy with honeydew melon overpour, you're going to get four of the cotton candy with honeydew melon overpours. That's just how it goes. So, um, but this is a better, I like this option better than buying a loaf. So I would order four of these before I would buy a loaf. I'm just not a huge loaf person. Um, you know, I'm, I don't love slicing. I love slicing things like this, cutting this in half, which is super easy peasy. But I don't like, you know, slicing and rebagging. So, okay. So this one is lemon squares with mango overpour. And again, I can, oh my God, I can smell the mango through this. So lemon squares, come on, lemon squares with mango overpour. Oh, like I can't believe I can smell these. This is really kind of freaking me out. Um, you know, the only thing that I might say, and I have trouble with this too, Reese, is that these labels, first of all, your wax is so oily, okay, that these labels may, um, smudge. And so when people are taking out their sniffies, smelling their sniffies, um, because it's not a laminated label, don't know how well that would work. I know you can get labels from um, office supply places. I have one um, that are laminated. You know, they're made of like vinyl or whatever. Um, so they're much better. I, I get the electrician's tape ones so that it's not coming, labels are not coming off because these are starting to lift. So when you put this in your stash, these may come off very easily, especially I've, I've learned too with these, these type of bags, because these are the type that I buy, the labels don't stick as well. Um, so you may want to think about, I don't know if you purchase your labels or not, but you may want to think about, um, investing in a label maker that does the thermal printing, not direct thermal. This looks like direct thermal. That is just ink put on paper. These other ones, they have a carbon, so it will not wipe off or anything like that. But also have this not be a paper material, but more of like a plasticky material. Um, and so it doesn't do this. But that's just a observation. So lemon squares with mango overpour. So good. It is so good. Again, the predominant note is the mango. But like I said, once I slice this sucker open because the chunks are all the way throughout. Oh my god. I can smell I can smell the lemon now. I'm like, I just caught it. It's really good. This is an awesome scent. I love tropical mango, papaya, fig, all those things. Um, the next one I got here is Fruity Rings with 7-Up Pound Cake. I love 7-Up Pound Cake. Love it. And this is just gorgeous. These are gorgeous. If you look at the back, look at, I mean, chunks all the way throughout. Love this. And like I said, the, the packaging is, is straight on. Love it. Love it. I can smell Fruit Loops and I can smell Fruit Loops is really, really strong, but the Seven Up Pound Cake has like an effervescent kind of um scent, which you can smell too. Oh my god, this is gonna be one of my favorites, I know. Oh fruity deliciousness. Love it. 
And like I said, again, love this packaging. Love it. Don't have You don't have to worry about it being your soft wax getting smushed. Amazing. Love it. I love it. Um, okay, there's one more in here. And these look like, again, in this beautiful, beautiful packaging with these bottomed um, gusseted bags. Love it. And I will go through these really quick with you. These look like her... Wow, these are these things are big, you guys. These are the size of my palm. Just about the size of my palm, and they're really thick. So these are not one users. This is craziness here. Um, let me see. Are these her? Nope. I'm like, are these the Daisy Wax chunks? No, these are another sort of chunk. I'm not really sure. I think it's similar to the Daisy Wax chunks. Cut in half, reuse whole. These comes in sets of four, 850. Like again, I think this is about two ounces. You know, um, this is in strawberry shortcake lemon with guava overpour. Guava, like a little tropical sense. Love them. I can smell it through the bag. You guys, this is really freaking me out. I'm sorry, it is. It's freaking me out. I especially with these thick bags, I've never been able to smell something through the through these thick poly pro bags. Oh my god. This is gorgeous. I really want to pull this out for you, but I'm just going to show it to you. It's really gorgeous. It chunks all the way throughout. Look how thick that is. Oh my god. This thing is huge, guys. This is so good. Oh my god. Love the guava. I can smell the strawberry shortcake. This is kind of crazy because normally my nose just goes weird with all these scents. But I could smell the strawberry shortcake, like the whipped cream. Part of the short, and these strawberries are so juicy. They're not like candy smelling. Oh my God. I don't know if I'm catching the lemon. But this is just amazing. I mean, it, I'm sure it's in there. And like I said, once this cures and everything, I, oh my God. Okay, this is, okay, this is one of her scalloped, um, her Daisy Wax Chunks. This comes in, again, in sets of four for eight fifty. dollars um, And again, you have the Chunk Option 1, Chunk Option 2, Chunk Option 3, and Overpour. Four of these, two ounces, approximately two ounces of wax. So this is definitely more than two ounces. This is like 2.5, if not more, or three ounces. This is about two ounces of wax. Um, so two, four, six, eight. So eight ounces of wax for eight fifty. Hell yeah, I would do it. And this has a gorgeous tie dye effect. Look at all those colors. Oh my god, it is so cool. And this is fruit rings, key lime pie, blueberry cobbler with lemon overpour. You guys know that gives me a headache. Uh, that's why I when usually when I blend, I blend two scents. That's it. So I can smell marshmallow and cotton candy. You know what I mean? Because my nose kind of goes crazy. But like I said, there's been some in here where I could smell everything, and that's not usually what happens to my nose. Okay, straight off. It smells like cake. I think that's the fruity rings. It's making it smell like cake. This smell, I can't even explain to you. Okay, am I going to say it smells like blueberry cobbler, key lime pie, fruity rings with lemon overpour? Like, do I, am I going to tell you I smell all those things? No, I'm not. But this smells like a Fruit Loop cake. That's what this smells like. It is so good. Oh, my God. So good. So good. So good. 
so strong. And like I said, some of these that are marked March, I'm going to put them in. I'm just going to. And here's a little um, two pack of squares in Relaxing Lavender. And I am not a huge lavender person. But if the lavender is herbal, love it. You know what I mean? If it's more herb herbal than... Um, Love it. it. This this is such an herbal lavender. I don't like powdery lav lavenders. Can't stand that. And if they're too perfumey, can't stand that either. This is an absolute perfect herbal lavender. Like I want lavender, like you just picked it off, you know, and you're smelling it. This is amazing. Lavender's tricky. I've tried a lot of Vendor's Lavender, and this is amazing. Really, really good. So, you guys, that those that's what I got to test. Um, I will be testing. You guys will not see the testing review, but I wanted to get the name out, and I am, from what I can see here, I'm just making sure I have all these packing peanuts in here. From what I can tell here, guys, super impressed. I can usually tell by feeling an oil whether or not it's going to perform well. Um, so I am going to throw one of, like, these cubes in. Is this Maybe this lavender one. When was this poured? Oh, this was only poured on the 7th. Um, I'm going to find something in March. And I'm going to throw it in my 18 watt and my 20 watt and see how it goes. And maybe I'll put a little annotation on top of it. But Reese, you guys need to check out Candles by Reese. Um, it's funny, too, because I had never heard of her before. And when – I'll show you her business card again. And I was just in one of the wax groups, and somebody mentioned Candles by Reese. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. So this is – I'm going to show you this side because it gives you the website. Of course, I post all the information below. Um Cannot wait to start testing this out. You guys will not see the testing video. That's exclusively between her and I. But I have really, really high hopes for this. I can usually tell right away just from experience from other vendors that I've tested for. This type of wax, whatever blend she uses, I can tell by the consistency. I can tell by, um, you know, you can't necessarily tell, tell by cold sniff. But when something is you know, just poured and smells really potent. It's usually pretty good. Um, it usually works out well. Definitely check it out, guys. Candles by Reese. <laughs> Take care.